Hey, what's up guys? So just when I say jailbreaking is slowing down, this happens. I actually can't believe I'm here to say that we have our third jailbreak of the year. Now yesterday, Pwn to Own released the Uncovered Jailbreak version 8.0, and he actually released a hotfix version 8.0.1. Now these support jailbreaking iOS 14.6 to iOS 14.8, on devices that have an A12 or an A13 processor. Now that includes the iPhone XR, iPhone XS, iPhone XS Max, 11, 11 Pro, 11 Pro Max, and the iPhone SE 2020. Now this jailbreak will not work on the iPhone 13 as that shipped with iOS 15, and sadly it won't even work on the iPhone 12 uh, because the exploit named Pattern F that this jailbreak uses is patched on that device. It sounds like support will be coming for the iPhone X and iPhone 8 at a later date. So to make things super interesting, there's actually a way to update from an older iOS version and install iOS 14.8 today as of recording this video. The basics that you need to know is that this is an update method a way to upgrade to iOS 14.8. There's no way to downgrade to 14.8 if you're on something newer, say iOS 15. Now, if you guys choose to do this method, say if you're upgrading from iOS 14.4.1, you will be losing the untethered aspect of your jailbreak. And if you use the Taurine utility, you will have to switch to Uncover as that's the only utility that's been updated for 14.8 at the time of recording this video. So if you guys are one of the few that have an iPhone XR, XS, 11, or SE 2020, and uh, are on some version of iOS 14, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to update to iOS 14.8 and jailbreak. Now, if you guys are already on iOS 14.8, use the timestamps in this video to your advantage. We're going to perform the upgrade process first, and then jailbreak second. So skip ahead if you're already on iOS 14.8. Now you guys might be wondering why we're doing that in today's video. Well, since I don't have too much time to make multiple videos, I thought I would make one cohesive video to show you guys everything that you could possibly need to know. And I actually have a supported device, an iPhone XS Max on iOS 14.4.1 that we can use to demo this process to upgrade to iOS 14.8 and then jailbreak. I've also yet to try this process, so I was super interested to see how it works. So without further ado, let's get into things. So getting started with the update process. Now you will need to be jailbroken and in the jailbroken state to do this, at least for the first step. So I'm currently not jailbroken for a reason. Uh, so we'll jailbreak here in just a second with Uncover for iOS 14.4.1. Uh, one thing I did wanna note, you'll have to go into the settings and if you guys have block auto updates on, just toggle that off and then proceed to jailbreak. So once we're jailbroken, I'm going to go into the settings app, software update, just to see if software updates are working currently. So once I connected to Wi-Fi, as you can see, it now brings up iOS 15.2. That's okay, we're going to change that in just a second. So next we will go ahead and launch up Cydia. We're going to go into Cydia and actually add this source. It will be linked down below in the video's description. We're going to install this tweak. Now install it for your current iOS version. I'm on iOS 14. So once that tweak is installed, please restart your device and re-jailbreak. Again, make sure that software updates or block OTA updates is not checked. Once you guys are back online, we're actually going to go all the way down to our tweak settings. And we're going to tap on that right there. We're going to scroll all the way down and tap on enable supervision spoofing and we can click spoof. The settings app will crash, but that's totally uh, normal there. So now if we go back into the settings app, it says your iPhone is supervised at the top. Again, you're going to follow the link down below in this video's description to the 90 day delay profile. When clicking on that link, you're going to install this profile. It says profile downloaded. We'll head to the settings app tap on profile downloaded and tap install. 
and click Done. So now if we go back to Software Update and pull down, let's go ahead and just restart the Settings app and see if that does it. So if it doesn't show up, let's go ahead and try to restart our device again. So with our device back online, we're going to go back into the Settings app, General. I'll wait for my device to connect to Wi-Fi real fast. And by tapping on Software Update after the reboot, we can now see iOS 14.8 shows up to download and install. Look at that, guys. That is sweet. Now, before we actually do this, we have to remove our current jailbreak. We're going to do a root FS restore. Now, now is the time if you wanted to back up your tweaks or anything like that, you can use the tweak I am lazy and create a standard new backup and save it where you like, and we can come back later and restore those tweaks. I personally am just going to set everything up from scratch and not save anything. So we'll head into the Uncovered Jailbreak application one more time, tap on the Settings app, and we're going to tap Restore Root FS. Again, do the same thing in Touring if you're using that jailbreak utility. All right, so once your root file system is done restoring, you will reboot your device. And now Cydia is off of the home screen. Uh, it looks like it removed the Uncover app too. Interesting. Oh, it's because it's the Untether. That's, that's cool. Okay, so all the jailbreak stuff is off my iPhone. At this point in time, we can go back into General Software Update. iOS 14.8 should still show up here. Now we can download and install it. So just do the update like a normal over-the-air update to iOS 14.8. Next, we'll come back and jailbreak. We'll use the alt store method to sideload the uncovered jailbreak utility. You will need a Mac or PC for this, uh, at least for the very first jailbreak. So let's uh, let this finish up and I'll be right back. Now, a very important step, once you guys have updated to iOS 14.8, the very first thing you want to do is go to the Settings app, go to General, go to Profiles and Device Management, tap on that 90-day delay profile, and remove that. So now it's completely off your device. All right, now that we're back on iOS 14.8, we can go ahead and start the jailbreak process. Now, we're going to use the alt store method, so you will need a Mac or Windows-based PC to install this jailbreak utility. But first, let me recap the steps to install alt store. To get alt server on a Mac, you can head to the links down below and download it. Once downloaded, you unzip the file and then move the application to the apps folder and click on the app to open it. Now once open, it appears up here in the status bar, we're going to install the mail plugin. We can go ahead and open up the mail app to enable this. Make sure you have a mail account active in this app. From here, we can go to preferences, manage plugins and activate the alt server plugin. And it's going to restart the mail app once it's done. Now you can minimize mail, but definitely leave this open in the background for it to work correctly. So now alt server is installed and ready to use. So a few extra steps on Windows. One, you first have to download iTunes and iCloud directly from Apple's site. Just select looking for other versions to download those. Also uninstall the Microsoft Store version of iTunes before doing this process. Uh, to make sure things go smoothly, first install iCloud and enable iCloud Drive and bookmarks, and then install iTunes. Again, the Apple version, not Windows. Now we can download Alt Store directly from the site. Again, open up the application and install it real fast. Uh, once it is installed, we can launch it. Just search for it in the bottom left. Now it's located in the system tray. To open it, you can expand and show hidden icons if you don't see it but right there is Alt Server. Uh, so we're ready for the next step. So to install Alt Store with Alt Server, since it's up and running, uh, you can connect your iPhone to your computer and trust the connection on both devices. Uh, once it's trusted, we can head to Finder on a Mac or iTunes and navigate to our iPhone's little pane here. You're just gonna wanna click Show This iPhone When on Wi-Fi. And now you're free to un unplug the iPhone uh, and you can continue to install Alt Store over a Wi-Fi connection instead of having to plug it in every time. 
So from here, we can click on the alt server button, then click install alt store on your iPhone's name, enter your Apple ID credentials, click OK if you get this pop up if you've used alt store in the past. And in just a second, alt store will be installed on our phone. Now lastly, to open the app on the device, we're going to go into settings, general device management, and trust our Apple ID. Okay, so now that we have Alt Store installed on our device, we can actually go to the official Uncover website. Again, links down below in the video's description. Download the latest version as of recording, it's 8.0.1. When it's done up here in the top, we can just tap on it, click on this little icon in the top right, and tap on Alt Store to begin the installation. Now, if for whatever reason it's not working over Wi-Fi, you can always revert back to the manual method of leaving your phone plugged in during the installation. So I'll go ahead and leave this plugged in, head back to uh, this screen and tap on it one more time with the device connected to the computer. And there we have it, Uncover is installed. Now I've jailbroken this phone before. If it's your very first time, you will have to actually sign into an Apple ID within the settings app. It will prompt you during the install of Uncover as well too. But now that that's side loaded, the uncovered jailbreak utility is on our iPhone. We can go ahead and disconnect it from the computer at this point in time. Now from here, we're actually gonna go back to the settings app, go to general, go all the way down to profiles and device management, tap on your Apple ID and uh, click verify right here if it isn't already. Now mine was already verified because I've done this step before, but just tap verify. Now you can open the Uncover Jailbreak Utility. As you can see, it's been updated to support iOS 14.8. Now, just to confirm with you guys, I am on iOS 14.8, and we can go ahead and jailbreak at this point in time. So again, it's going to take two steps. We'll go ahead and jailbreak once the device will reboot. So once we're back online, now we can return to the Uncovered Jailbreak Utility. Make sure it loads entirely. Maybe give your phone a minute or two before tapping Jailbreak a second time. But now, for the second time, we can go ahead and continue with the Jailbreak process. And hopefully it will finish here successfully. And then we'll be Jailbroken on iOS 14.8 on the iPhone XS Max. And there we have it. That should be the sign of a successful jailbreak. It's going to respring, and then once it's back online, we should see Cydia on the home screen. But guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. It took quite some time to produce. I really hope you guys enjoyed this in-depth tutorial on how to use the 90-day delay profile in order to install iOS 14.8 and then jailbreak on it and we'll give uh, City a second here to load. The very last step is just doing the maintenance, updating the packages that need to be updated right after jailbreaking, but as you guys can see, I'm on iOS 14.8 on my iPhone XS Max. Anyway guys, if you are looking for tweaks to install, definitely check out some of my previous top tweak videos. I won't have time to make one this round, but I did spend some extra time on this video helping everyone get jailbroken. Anyway guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I'll catch you real soon with another awesome jailbreak video, but until next time, this is Tony, signing out.